Hey everyone, Zalma here once again with another Legion video. So I was looking at the comments from my Hunter BM class guide and I noticed that I didn't put the artifact weapon in the video. So this video is going to be all about our Hunter artifact weapon, which path to take, and kind of what the traits do overall. And also I had a lot of comments asking how I made Haiti look like my other pet. There is a quest to give you this item, the Essence Swapper. You get this quest, I believe, at level 110 inside of the Order Hall. Uh, it's right, it's to the right of the scouting map, if you know where that is once you get in the game. And this is a quest Memoron gives you. It's very easy to do, but that's how you do that. But anyways, let's get straight into this here. So this is the Titan Strike, the BM Hunter artifact weapon. And with this weapon, you're going to start off with your first trait here, Hades Bond. Hades will now fight for you as a companion. So as you see, we have Hades here fighting with us. And you get this weapon at the very start of Legion. Pretty much the first quest you do in Legion is the quest to get your artifact weapon. The artifact weapon does start out at 750 item level. So it's going to be better than your current mythic gear or if you're heroic or whatever. So, basically from right off the bat, you're going to have a second pet. Now, Haiti will not benefit from your kill command or anything like that at this level. Basically, when you first get your weapon, Hades is going to be a static enemy attacking your target. So, then our first trait we're going to go into here is called Beastmaster. Increases damage dealt by your Dire Beast by 10%. And you only have to put one point into this. It's going to be pretty cheap, uh, pretty much like the first artifact item you get. You're going to be able to buy this. It's going to increase your Dire Beast damage. Next, you're going to get this. Focus of the Titans. Increases damage dealt by your multi-shot by 15%. It's pretty good. Um, you're really not going to ever use this leveling up. But it's on the way to our first major trait, which we're going to be going for. Next, you're going to get Mimiron Shell. Aspect of the Turtle also heals you for 30% of your maximum health over its duration. And the reason why I said 30% is because I have plus one for my relic, so it's 30%. Then you're going to get Jaws of Thunder. Kill Command has a 20% uh, chance to deal an additional 50% of its damage as nature damage. Pretty good again. And your first elite trait. This is the path that you're going to want to take when you get this weapon. And you're going to see why right here. Master of the Beast, or of Beast. Haiti also benefits from Beastial Wrath and Beast Cleave and deals damage from Kill Command. So basically, what essentially what this does is this turns Haiti into being, from being a static pet just hitting your target to being a main pet. It's going to pretty much be the exact same as your other pet. You're just not going to have all the pet bonuses. Those pet bonuses are these right here. Uh, if I go into my talent tree. Uh, so yeah, Hades not going to uh, be benefited by these. So you can't have Hard Phoenix or Spike Collar. You can't make her a tank or go into Cunning. She will not benefit from those, but she will benefit from your Bestial Wrath, Beast Cleave, and Kill Command. So this makes her extremely powerful. So from going from just static damage to being pretty much a main pet. So that is the most powerful trait I believe we have at this current point in time. <clears throat> so next you're going to make your way up north. And the reason why you make your way up north isn't because these down here are bad, but it takes a lot less artifact power to get this next trait. You only have to go into two other traits to get to your next elite trait, or you can go this way and have to go through four, which would take an absurdly long time, and it's not even worth doing it that way. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up here, picking up Furious Swipes, increases damage dealt by your Beast Cleave by 30%. This is extremely powerful for AoE, you have no idea, and the reason why is coming up pretty soon. But next you have Unleashed the Beast, Beastial Wrath increases damage you and your pet deal by an additional 8%. I do have plus one in there, so I think it's like plus 4% uh, or something like that, but you get the idea. Very, very good. And here is your second 
in best uh, artifact trait, in my opinion, Surge of the Storm God. When you use multi-shot, Titan Strike has a chance to discharge an electric current at your pet's location, causing an explosion of electricity that deals 44.7k nature damage to all nearby enemies, making Basically, with this ability, your AoE is going to be insane. So not only are you going to Beast Cleave, but you're also going to cause an electric explosion. So it is incredible, guys. Once I got this talent, my AoE damage pretty much skyrocketed. It is very OP, and I love it. So once you get this trait, you're going to start making your way to your last major trait. Uh, just go down this path. And you'll see the reason why. These three traits right here are way more powerful than these three down here. So let's just go over these here. <clears throat> Pathfinder reduces the cooldown of Aspect of the Cheetah by 60 seconds. Aspect of the Cheetah did get changed. You can check that out inside of my uh, BM Hunter Guide. But uh, yeah. And it only costs uh, one rank there, so... And next you have Pack Leader, increases the damage of Kill Command by 5%. I'm assuming it'll go up to 15%, making this extremely powerful. Then next you have Wilderness Expert, increases the duration of Aspect of the Wild by 1 second. I'm assuming it'll go up to 3 seconds, making that pretty powerful. And your last elite trait, Titan's Thunder. Discharge a massive jolt of electricity from Titan Strike into all your pets and dire beasts, causing them to deal up to 22.6k nature damage to their target every one second for 8 seconds. Now basically, this is an AoE dot, pretty much. You can just think of it that way. It is a 1 minute cooldown, so it's going to deal a shit ton of damage. But the reason why you get this one last is because you have to get this one first, and it's cheaper to go get this one next, and then get this one. And these th traits down here, once you get all three going around the north hand, like the north side up here, once you get all three of these lead traits, you can go in any order you want. You can get this one first, or you can get this one first. It really doesn't matter. This, uh, I'd probably go with Spitting Cobra first. Increases the damage dealt by uh, Cobra Shot. Then I'd probably go for this one. Increases you and your pet's dodge chance by blank percent. Uh, then you have Hunter's Advantage when you use Misdirection. On your pet, your pet takes 35% less damage for 8 seconds. Not very useful. And you have this. Kill Command heals you for 15% of the damage it deals. So I'd probably pick up... Uh, this one here last like your very last trait just because it's not really that useful and i mean maybe in pvp but for pve you're not going to want to get these first but anyways guys that's pretty much the weapon i guess uh next you have uh artifact relics basically relics um give you higher item level so your weapon starts at 750 item level and after having all these mythic uh, whatever, I have 872 item level uh, on my weapon, so that's pretty good. And they also give you a free perk, so as you can see, like I have uh, rank 4 on this. You normally only have rank 3, but I have rank 4 because of the trait or whatever, and yeah, that's how pretty much that works. And also, uh, there's artifact knowledge, so basically every time you go up a trait or put a point into a trait, it, it's going to cost more and more for the next one. Then after, I think, 12 uh, traits or whatever, like 12 levels or ranks, uh, the cost significantly increases. But you have Artifact Knowledge. Basically increases Artifact Gains by blank percent. Artifact Knowledge will go up to 24 levels, I believe they said, in the QA. I'm not 100% sure. But that's pretty much the Artifact Weapon. And yeah, so basically, this is a roundup. You're going to start here. You're going to make your way up here. Get this trait, then work your way up here. Get this trait, then work your way back to Titan's Thunder. So just copy this, what I have here, and you will be good to go, guys, in Legion on your BM Hunter. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment if you have any more questions, or if you want me to make another video about some of the other specs. I don't care. Anyways, just leave your comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.